almost three years ago, my red bus here sat right where this uh, bus number two sits. Kind of cool to see these two together because this one is the uh, sister bus to it. This is 204988, body number 204989. So this one came off the assembly line right in front of it. And it's finally going to uh, get retired too. So now we'll move into some pictures. Uh, I thought this is probably one of the coolest things that I got to do with my red bus since, you know, it's a, a real life before and after because where bus 2 is sitting right now is where I picked up my red bus and you get you see exactly what it looked like and where it was when I picked it up and I hadn't even driven it yet when I picked it up I just went and picked it up and turned the key and took it home it was mine this next picture here is a really cool picture because it there's a lot of differences in it I uh, I remember those aluminum rims, everything I had to do to polish those and change the studs. Uh, you got the red door, the red step well, the white roof, which the white roof actually got painted uh, the year before. It got painted red. And you can see on that old door all the paint that was coming off, which is why I painted the door. And I, I like how the door came out better carrying that red. Um, in this picture, you can see the black stripes that carry across the back and the difference and how that was and and the red bumper kind of giving it a little taller look and uh, oh, that reminds me about that honeycomb uh, 3M tape where it says school bus up there and all the tape that goes around the windows and outlines the bus that stuff was just terrible to get off I spent hours working on that you scrape a little spray it with goo off spray a little more spent a lot of time on the back of the bus here you can see the LED lights and how different they look and you got the upgraded 7 inch white reverse lights on there too I uh, spent a lot of time uh, sanding well sanding and putting some bondo on the the rounded corners in the back of the bus there because it had a couple dents and uh, what can you expect for being a bus that drove down some dirt roads and back roads and you got that tail swing going on it ended up being a really good project. And I fought with the sun a little bit. You can see some of those sunspots in these pictures. Oh, it's funny too because I was standing in the uh, the parking lot and this guy just comes walking across the parking lot and he sees me taking pictures, you know. And I, I'm sitting there with a tripod and he's like, you need to get some pictures of those rims. And I'm like, yeah, it's my bus. I know all about those rims. <laughs> Polishing it up and everything, but... Overall, really cool project, and thankful for everybody that helped get it done, and it's awesome. Well, uh, thanks for watching the video. Just for you, John, let's see if the key F of my bus will uh, start this one. I'm not going to start it, but I'll see if it turns it on.